What's going on everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to another Dungeon Defenders 2 Hero Spotlight. Now, uh, just a matter of time on this one, as one of the hottest new changes to the game in the Power Up update is indeed the Huntress and the Poison Dart Tower. So without question, it is time to bust your Huntress out of retirement. Gonna start using her for something more than just DPS these days, and the Poison Dart Tower is the way to go. Now, uh, Frosty Traps, of course, was a lot of fun, and it was the, the really the meta of the game for quite some time. But uh, Poison Dart Towers are definitely getting to a point where they're holding their own. Now, first things first, let's take a look at what everyone considers the OP Abyss Lord and the Archer. Now, uh, my Archers are nowhere near perfect, but they do pretty decent, 42,000. Uh, 271 DPS unupgraded. Now, of course, that's split between uh, each side of the archer. And if we look at the dummy here, it looks like we're ranging, dependent on the crits, we're ranging, well, I guess that's the explosions. We're ranging between, what, 31,000? There's a 29,000. And I thought I saw as high as like, there was a 58,000 there. And of course I got uh, little Betsy going to town there too, which isn't adding all that much really. Maybe a thousand or two DPS. But uh, the Huntress range is, you know, as you see there from 29,000 all the way up to 44,000. Pretty darn solid. Now uh, this of course is a 40 DU defense. Now let's go ahead and switch over to the Poison Dart Tower. Now the Poison Dart Tower, of course, is going to be a 40 DU defense as well. And let's take a look at it. Now uh, tier 1 again. The PDT can't really get good uh, good stats off of the tooltip there. But let's watch and see what it's capable of doing to the target dummy. And you see we're already over, you know, 145,000 damage per second unupgraded. And this is actually in nowhere near decent gear. I mean, it's in, for the most part, a lot of entry-level Nightmare 4 gear with, uh, you know, a few upgrades from the old pieces. I actually accidentally sold my Toxic Shock, though, and haven't found another high item power one dropping randomly in the world yet. So I had to go over to Dragonfall Bazaar to get the guaranteed drop on the Toxic Shock. Now, Dragonfall Bazaar, of course, is lower item power level, so the bow itself is not going to drop at a decent level. 145,000 DPS, it looks like we're going to stay right around that range. You see, this Toxic Shock is only item power 641 right now. I did throw a few upgrades into it just to get it bumped up. And you see it's got, the change to it is Viper's Bite. Uh, the Poison tar Dart Tower deals 18% more damage when a poisoned enemy dies. It detonates, dealing 123% of your defense power stat as damage to enemies in a 1,720 radius. Now, the percentage for the damage increase, the percentage for the explosion, and the, the percentage for the radius all roll independently. So you can get uh, better rolls and worse rolls on that. The other passives that you really want to have on it is Defense Critical Chance and then Invenom. Invenom, of course, the Poison Dart Tower's poison attack rate is increased by 17%. This is what's really going to help you along. Now, um, let's go ahead and take a look at our stats. I dumped everything into Defense Power, maxed it out. Then I got the attack rate maxed out the range maxed out and you're gonna have 30 points left I just threw that right into defense crit and let's take a look at our sphere sheets now one important thing to note as with all defenses uh, it has a maximum crit chance of 30% so I'm not all the way there but I'm at 29% so it's pretty darn close and I just been rolling with it and you see the kind of the kind of DPS it's capable of putting out now I did bring along uh, defense power, attack rate, and defense crit, uh, just for that extra 3%. Now these spheres here, it doesn't really matter what you put, you can go def more defense crit if your defense crit is low, you can, uh, you know, you can go more defense power. You do want to make sure you get the defense speed in there and take that extra 20 as there's so few ways in the game to get it, you got to take advantage of all of it that you find. 
Now for medium spheres, you are going to want the poison dart range spheres, which uh, increase the poison dart tower range by 25%. You want two of those bad boys. Poisonous stacks for a large, which increases poison dart tower's poison stacking limit by 16%. And the Uber doesn't really matter, as we're not uh, using any Uber abilities. And you see it's still ripping off the 145,000 DPS, which is substantially more than an Archer can do. Now the range, although it's pretty solid, the Archers definitely beat it out in range, without question. And then the ability to shoot in two different directions at the same time, with the wider shot path, definitely makes the Archer uh, still pretty beast mode, even in comparison. Now the explosion is, it's nice and it's added damage, but it's nowhere near as much as the Serenity R explosion does. Um, in fact, I, I think it's probably maybe 25% in the case of the gear I have of what Serenity does. Now another interesting fact with the PDT spec is you're actually better off, besides the weapon of course, which you have to have the Toxic Shock, you're actually better off going with non-Huntress gear. Now I'm going with Huntress gear here, and of course it's got all got volatile schematics, which increases trap radius by 3%, and tripwire, which increases explosive trap and elemental chaos trap damage by 2-3%. to Now both of these passes are not going to do anything for you on the PDT. However, if you hop on over to your mage or your squire, and you start looking at the pieces there at Vector Corrector. Now Vector Corrector will roll on all of the armor pieces and on the uh, relic itself, so you can get a potential 15% increased range just from this. Now you will have a wasted passive on there because you want to go Defense Crit and then Vector Corrector. Iron Core obviously is not going to do anything for the Huntress, but if I equipped all of this uh, Squire gear, my Huntress is actually going to have a 15% increased range on the PDTs. So uh, a lot of love headed back to the Huntress and the PDTs are definitely beast mode as they can really just wreck faces. So that's going to do it for now. Uh, if you have any more questions about the uh, Huntress or the Poison Dark Tower, by all means let me know in the comments below. And another quick look because I know people will ask about the pet. The pet doesn't matter! Use whatever you want. Now you want defense power and defense crit on it, doesn't matter what pet, as long as you have those two empower stats, the abilities don't matter at all. So that's it for now, thanks again, we'll see ya!